good morning. I thought you would, I would take you with us today because we're going to um, Ramsbottom Festival, which is not called Ramsbottom Festival. Head to the hills. Um, Stephen's upstairs getting ready. I'm down here getting ready. We're going to get James and then we're going to go to the festival. So I thought I'd bring you with and show you around. We're here. We'll only be here shortly. Where? There. Daddy! Wow! It looks really good! What do you think, James? It's a skeleton! This is Stephen's tent. A gang of five are running at Ram wow, Festival. Wow. He's called Stuart. Stuart the skeleton. We met Oscar last week and Stuart this week. Say hello, Stuart. Stuart's lost his teeth. Yeah, he's a bit of a worse work for wear. <laughs> Yeah. Mm. He's not as well looked after as the other one. Yeah. Oscar. Oscar. The yeah, his legs are a bit broken. Where did you find Stuart? Um, the art gallery. Ace. This is the washing line gallery. How does it work, Stephen? Hello. <laughs> People can come in and draw a picture. Once they draw the picture, they can then swap it for a piece of art gallery. On, piece, piece of art on the gallery. But they have to leave their picture so the people can take. It's uh, an exchange. An exchange, a creative exchange. Yes, instead of money, we have drawings. So are these some of the ones that have been exchanged already? These are Gang of Fives and Berry Collectives. So I've got some that have... We've had a big group of scouts in last night, so they're close, so I've just replaced this. Yeah. Stuff. Lovely. Oh, that's nice. There, there's Stephen. So we were here briefly and we're going out with James. James is not well, he's got a cold. I don't feel great. Now oh, then, can we see the fairy on the wall? And here it is, Pops. Oh, <laughs> you filming, James? Phone fairy, phone fairy, zoom! Whoop. Phone fairy, oh, where's it going, Pops? All the way over there! Meow, nee nee, nee nee. Ah. <laughs> oh, it's back on the ceiling. <laughs> Can't catch me for a penny cup of tea. Come on, Pop. Ooh. You could get it if you jumped. <laughs> We're on our way to school. And the autumn leaves are falling. Can you see the leaves, James? 
I see Optimus Prime. You do see Optimus Prime. We're following Optimus Prime to school, aren't we, buddy? Oh, yeah. Optimus Prime is getting bigger. He is. And who's behind us? Optimus Prime. Show the camera. It's Optimus Prime. Yeah. Optimus Prime is behind us. There are two Optimus Primes. This is very exciting, isn't it, sweet pea? You were making it up. You've got to read it, you stinker. Right. Floppy has covered in mud. Floppy has covered in mud. What? Floppy went in the mud. Good reading. Floppy mud. <laughs> Don't work. <laughs> oh my, what's he doing now? He's chasing the jambas. <laughs> He's chasing a butterfly, you stinker. <laughs> Hello again. I'm just getting ready to go for a very wet walk. Today is very exciting because I'm going to collect Dory this afternoon, then James from school, then Stephen from work. You're coming too. And we're going to the dog's home to see if we can't find a little dog for Dory. But it has to get on with everybody. Um, because James and Poppy sleep over so often at Dory's house. But she needs a little companion. So with that in mind, because we're going to go to the dog's home and it's high energy, full on, crazy bonkers, I thought... We ought to walk up a hill. Get some of your energy out. Yeah. Then you just make yourself comfy. So, you stink. Walk up Holcomb Hill. Mm hmm. Come home. Have a bath. And then collect all the people. Your lead is stuck on this car seat. There we go. We'll collect all the people and then find you a friend. Well, not really. I'm Grandma Doreen, a friend. And you can be its friend sometimes. However, I've picked possibly the most awful day to go for a walk. So I showed you before in on the way to school that the leaves are falling off the trees. Wonderful. Um, the reason the leaves are falling off the trees is because it's blowing a hoolie and raining sideways. So um, knowing that when I set off this morning, I didn't bring the waterproof cover for the camera. So I might not film any clips when we're up there. There again, it might dry up and I might film some. We'll see. Come with. I don't know if you'll be able to hear, but in the distance is pretty windy actually. In the distance is some like pops. Just going pop, 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 pop. I forgot they're doing live firing. <laughs> so it's probably not the best idea to come up in the mist and uh, the army are live firing. Good walk. It is now. 10 past 10. Go home and have a brew, I think. So, I'll probably pick you up later when we're going to the dog's home. It's the next day. It's the next day, camera. Manage. There we go. Um, we went to the dog's home yesterday, didn't we, James? Oh yeah. And we saw a little dog, didn't we? Do you remember his name? Oh yeah. What was his name? Yes, Eric. Do you remember what colour he is? He's 
black. He's black. And he's a chihuahua. And he's a little bit fat. And he's very kind, isn't he, James? Oh, yeah. He jumped on your knee, didn't he, for a snuggle? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And he has a sneeze on my trousers. <laughs> he did have a sneeze on your trousers. He's got kennel cough. So, um, Dorian and I are going to go and collect him today. I couldn't film yesterday because I had my hands full with James and Poppy. And Stephen was with us and it was just all very busy. But we're going to collect little Eric today, aren't we? Take him back to Grandma Doreen's house. This is Eric. We've freed him. We've bust him out of jail. He's a slightly overweight chihuahua. Have a sniff, Eric. <laughs> 